Neil Young is trying to cancel Joe Rogan. I am Mecca. Who the crap is Neil Young anymore? Well, if you're old as me, you probably remember him as the guy who doesn't have songs that sound very good to the ear. He's got a voice like like a strangled cat. Not somebody who's really... Does he really have a whole lot of fans left? Are they still around? I wonder. I mean, he played Wood... He played Woodstock after all. Here we go. Neil Young demands Spotify choose between his music or Rogan's podcast. And Spotify is going to be like, hmm, a guy who gets, what, 11 million viewers per podcast and brings us in all this money and, 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 and buzz and marketing. He's so marketable right now. He's so controversial. He's leading the way. He is the new media. He's getting more views than everybody put together including CNN and Fox and all the controlled opposition assholes out there. Neil Young thinks that he's got the weight to pull in. You mean to tell me that Neil Young, the 776th artist on Spotify's most popular and streamed list as of 902 2021 is demanding that they remove their most popular, the only thing that most people even subscribe to Spotify for in the first place, podcast. Do you really think he has any any clout left? Who the crap is listening to Neil Young in this day and age? He's less popular than Ice Cube. He's less popular than Lily Crapping Allen. Who's Lily Allen? I don't know. The sister of the guy on Game of Thrones who had a hit in England, in the UK. She doesn't even have hits in, in, the, in the United States. Mozart is more streamed than Neil Young. Mozart, Lionel Richie is more streamed. Kylie Minogue, another one who's not even that famous in the United States. This is a whole side rant. Paul Simon is more is more popular. All these people, do you see anybody you even recognize who are more popular than Neil Crapping Young? And he has the audacity. He has the audacity. He's not as popular as Swedish House Mafia, whoever they are. I'm sure they're more talented. Allison Chains, Afrojack, Niska, Incubus. It goes on and on. Little Dicky has more clout. Little Dicky has Ben Howard. Who the crap is that? That sounds like a realtor. The Jackson 5, of course they do. That's the Jackson 5. Blueface, who the crap's Blueface? Are they gonna get canceled for being in Blueface? Oh, uh, holy crap. So, no, Neil Young, you're not going to be making any waves on the Spotify circus anytime soon. You have no clout. You don't get to make demands from anybody. And we have an update with this whole Neil Young kerfuffle. I love saying kerfuffle. Apparently he has not only cucked out and deleted his tweet once he realized that not only does he not own most of his catalog, but Spotify doesn't give a flying crap about whether or not he pulls his music. Like I said, nobody crapping listens to Neil Young anymore, at least not enough people to really matter when Joe Rogan's pulling in 11 million viewers per day and listeners, he's pulling in nothing comparatively. He's still a very famous musician. We'll, we'll just keep that in mind when I rant about this, but however, no, Neil Young, stop being part of this establishment ass kissery. We're so tired of this. You should be punk rock. You should be a rebel. You wrote Keep Rocking in the Free World. You used to be against this stuff. I am so tired of these people who are now full on raging on behalf of the machine, as it were. I am so tired of these former hippies, former revolutionaries who used to think freedom was a good idea until they got a lot of money and got a lot of protection and started working for the machine and working on behalf of the establishment and working on behalf of all these people that yes I'm going to rant about this screw you Neil Young and the update to the update now Spotify has said goodbye old man get the crap out of here you you really want to stand up to us and tell us what we can and can't do with our business f you fine we'll pull you and they pulled his entire <laughs> Uh, Spotify to pull, or will be pulling, Neil Young's music after artist objections to Joe Rogan. Despite the fact that Neil Young cut down and deleted his tweet or post or whatever, de decided to change his mind, realized that he wasn't quite as influential as he was in maybe 1971 or something, the last time anybody gave a crap about him, to be perfectly honest. And I know he had a little slight comeback with Harvest Moon. Fine. Correct me. I don't care. This is just one more uh, win. This is a win in the culture war. This is a win. This is Spotify saying, hey, we're putting our money where our mouth is. More people are deciding to tune into us and pay us big bucks than if we go along with all this corporatized bullshit. 
and go and bend to the wokier than thou mobs, the 10 people on Twitter who want to cancel us, the five or six asshole activists who want to who wanna get all up in arms. You know what's next? Maybe all those celebrities can go fuck off out of the country who wanted to leave if they didn't get their way whenever a, a, a vote didn't go their way. Or all these people who are like, I'm offended by the flag. They can go too. This is the next step, right? Is that the next thing we need to do? I don't know. Stay tuned. More people than Joe Rogan. Oh, they're going to tell him bye-bye, Grandpa, aren't they? They're going to say, take your whiny screech. No, I like some of his songs. Keep on rocking to the free world's okay. Ohio was pretty damn good when Devo covered it because, let's face it, they should have written that themselves because they were actually fucking there. Now, legendary musician Neil Young issued an ultimatum to the Spotify streaming music service to choose between his music and Joe Rogan's podcast. And Spotify said, no. <laughs> no, I'm going to say no. Young posted it. I'm sure. I'm sure this is going to go over well. Hey, Rob. Do you think Neil Young's going to get his way and uh, get Joe Rogan's po uh, Spotify pulled? Pulled? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I am doing this because Spotify is spreading fake information about, oh, who cares? And you're a fucking doctor, Neil Young. Seriously, for fuck's sake. First off, this isn't questioning anything, but for crying out loud, the more you get people not allowed to hear the bad news or the fake news or whatever, the more you're going to get people who want and seek out and think that you're trying to pull one over on them. You're going to get people thinking that something's going on, that something is in fact up. And I would never tell you guys that something is in fact up because we're not allowed to on YouTube, right? But the more they do this, the more they censor, they more the more they the more they scream, the more they try and silence people, the more they silence people into questioning, the more they're gonna have people noticing and saying, wait a minute, who the f is this guy and why is he trying to censor this guy who who seems to at least ask some questions? Did you see that guy accidentally hit that moose with his car? I never done ask it. Want to do it now? Two hey, questions. I want you guys to yell at each other for three minutes while I go pee. Like, like, I've never been the biggest Joe Rogan fan, I'll admit that. I've watched his, his podcast a few times. I'm more familiar with his stand-up comedy, for sure. And he's, he's, in my opinion, he's the guy who's smarter than you think, but knows he's not as smart as everybody around him, but he knows enough to bring in the people who are smarter, to ask the questions of the people who are smarter. And that is, as a nobody who doesn't know shit about shit, me, that's, for, that's coming from me. It looks like he's questioning the people that I would want to ask questions of. That's what it seems like to me. And telling people they're not allowed to ask questions is bullshit. It is just getting so irritating. And I know this is probably not where a lot of people who are tuning in for entertainment want to listen to, but this, this is all interconnected. Everything. This message, this controlling, ruling class, it's all connected. It's all part of the same book. It's all what's coming up to try and... What? What is the end goal here? What is the end goal here? Is it going to be the thing that will finally make the Vulcans land? Probably at some point after we wipe our, ourselves out and, and get reborn and start, I don't know, learning how to fly and do warp technology and shit and old missiles or something. I'm going off on tangents. I don't know why. It's because I got a first contact poster right behind me. And now I'm kind of thinking that if they hadn't run Star Trek, I would probably be watching it around now because I, I used to watch it every few years. And it's going off on a tangent, isn't it? Neil Young, I don't think you have the sway anymore to be telling Spotify anything. I am getting sick of hearing about this in my main news feed as far as people are reading over Joe Rogan. If, he, if he's really, really doing anything that wrong, then what, what are people afraid of? They'll laugh him off the air and they'll be like, oh my God, do you believe that b or is it the fact that people are twisting and turning and dissecting and deciding and putting words in people's mouths saying that they said something? So other people might be spreading false information about what people might be saying. And this is all a great big game of disinformation and all this that this is going to be an aluminum archives fake parody of because none of this is real. Neither am I. I am going back to my live chat. Don't you go anywhere. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! And we're going into the Matrix.
Max Theovon. I'm gonna get my stuff first. 